So I'm going to talk about the P series. Okay, so if we have a, the uh, series going from 1 to infinity of 1 over n to the p, that is the same as expanding, right, as 1 over 1 to the p plus 1 over 2 to the p plus 1 over 3p and so on. So this basically takes on the form of a p series where p has to be strictly bigger than 0. Okay. All right, so here's some examples. Okay, so let's say if we let p be equal to 2, Okay, then we have this, okay? All right. Um, let's say we have another one. This is a classic example. Let's say P is 1. Then we get 1 over N. So basically 1 over N, uh, the summation of 1 over N, this is what's called a harmonic series, okay? All right. Here's another example. Say we have one to infinity of one over, let's say pi. Okay. All right. So one over n pi. This is just remember p can be anything strictly bigger than zero. Okay. So the question here is what values of p will this series converge for? Okay. All right. And so that's the next thing we're going to look at. Okay. So we're going to look at the convergence of P series. Okay. So if, okay, so if the uh, series, or if P is strictly bigger than one, Uh, then this series will converge. Okay. Otherwise, it diverges. Okay. So we're actually going to prove this result. Okay. And we can prove this by using the integral test. Okay. So. Okay, so we're going to use integral test. Okay, so there's three conditions that we need, right? There's three conditions for the integral test. So first thing is that the uh, function must be positive, okay? So our function in this case is one over x to the p, okay? So let's define that. Okay, where, where p is strictly bigger than zero, okay? So the first one is that, right, we said that the function is positive, okay? Okay, we know that because um, particularly we want to know right we, we're on the interval okay going from 1 to infinity so it's going to be positive from 1 to infinity okay and we know that because the values of x between 1 and infinity that's the the function value that we get is always going to be positive for those x values okay and and p here is strictly bigger than 0 so it's very obvious okay secondly uh, the second one is that we have to show it's continuous. Right? It's continuous from 1 to infinity. Okay. So we're not dividing by any, um, we're not dividing by any zero here. Again, x is on we're going from x is in the interval from 1 to infinity so this function is never divided by 0 so therefore we don't have any there's no vertical asymptote here so this shows us that the function is continuous on this interval okay thirdly uh, we need to show that it's decreasing on this interval 
Okay, so what we can do is we can use the uh, first derivative test. Okay, so our function, okay, so the function we have, okay, it, it is 1 over x to the p, which is the same as x to the minus p. So when we take the derivative of this, okay, using the uh, using the power rule, we get minus p x to the minus p plus one, okay, which is the same as minus p over x to the one minus p, okay. So then we can go ahead and set this, right? Set this equal to zero, right? Set the derivative equal to zero. Find the critical point. In this case, there are no critical values here. There's no values of x that will make this equation true. Okay, so for the so for our number line, okay, it's, we're going to look at the right. We're just uh, we're going to look at the entire number line. Okay, but in particular here, remember that p has to be strictly bigger than zero, and we're only we're interested only what's happening from one to infinity. So let's pick. Okay, so let me mark off. Okay, so we're going strictly from one to infinity. So let's strict. Uh, let's mark this off of here. Okay, and I'm going to choose two here. Okay, so if we plug that back in to the first derivative, okay, we can see that it's going to be less than uh, zero. Okay, because we're going to get, and remember here, p is strictly bigger than zero. Okay, so if we plug in two, okay, that's going to give us two to some power one minus p. All right, and p is strictly bigger than zero, so that's that's not that's going to give us a positive value. But in the numerator, we have a negative value, because p is again p is strictly bigger than zero, so therefore the derivative is negative on this. Okay, and that's what we want to show. Okay, we want to show the derivative is decreasing, or I'm sorry, the function is decreasing, and we know it's decreasing because the uh, because we're getting a negative value in that interval. So therefore, it shows us that the original function is decreasing on that interval. Okay. All right. So now we can go ahead and apply the uh, integral test. Okay. So we have the integral, we're going from 1 to infinity of 1 over x to the p. Okay. So now there is, this is, we can use a uh, special theorem that was talked about before. Okay. We actually proved this result. Okay. In a, a while back. Okay. So this. This is going to give us one over p minus one. Okay, if p is strictly bigger than one. Okay, otherwise it's going to diverge. If uh, particularly if p is less than one. Okay, in this case, well, less than or equal to one. Okay, so therefore. Uh, we can see, right, because using the integral test, remember, if, if the value of the integral is converging, then the corresponding series for that will converge. If it's diverging, then the corresponding series will, will diverge. Okay. So this, right, so therefore, okay. Okay, therefore, for this series, we have 1 over NP. Okay. So, therefore, this will converge. Okay, converges if P is bigger than 1. Otherwise, okay, it will diverge. Okay, according to this result. Okay, so going back up here. Okay, so that's the that's the 
proof of the convergence of the series. Convergence and so it converges if p is strictly bigger than one, and otherwise it diverges. So going back up here, okay. So since we have a series, this was for p equals two. That's meaning that p is bigger than one, right? So that means this series is going to converge. So it converges, okay. All right. Um, here, this is when p is equal to one. Okay, so when p is equal to one, it diverges. Okay. Okay, so this is diverging. Okay. Um, here, this is for p equals to. This is for p equals to pi, and we know that's bigger than one, so this converges. Okay, so that's uh, the introduction to the P-series, okay.